Hello to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to do the uh, starts with string method. Kind of forgot what we're doing there. Um, the starts with string method will check to see if a string object starts with a certain argument. Alright, so this takes uh, a mandatory one argument, when that's going to be our substring. Does it start with that? And then it takes a start and stop um, position index position I should say so let's take a look at it let's create a string and we're gonna do uh, hello world we haven't done that one in a while and we'll do um, starts with string method so it's period start starts with and then parentheses and we're gonna do hell <laughs> hell and then and we're not going to give it any other arguments for this one. Hit return and we get true. So what happened here? So we gave a string object of hello world. And then we did a string method of period starts with. And then we gave it a substring of hell. And then Python goes in and looks and says does it start with hell? It does. So it kicks back true. Alright. So let's take a look at one with arguments. Uh, with the start and stop arguments. Let's do um, hello world again. And this time we're going to do, well, let's do starts with, starts with, and I'm going to say uh, world. Alright. So we say, does it start with world? And first let's do this. Does, this, does our string object start with world? No, false. All right, so we're gonna bring that back up by pushing your up arrow on your uh, keypad, keyboard, whatever you wanna call it. And now we're gonna do, um, we're gonna give it a starting index point. So the starting index point defaults to the start of the string if we don't provide anything. So let's see, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll say it starts at uh, seven start at 7 and then we want it to end at and yeah, we'll leave the ending point out of this one the ending point defaults to the end of the string object itself so go ahead and hit return and we get true to what happened here well we got our string object all right and then we asked does it start with uh, world and then we said start your search at the seventh index spot. So if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, one, or zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right there, does it start there? Yes, it does. And it goes through and says, yep, that's world. That's what it starts with. All right. So let's give it a ending point this time. And let's do hello world one more time. Hello world. Explanation point and starts with and this time we're going to do uh, WOR so we'll do WOR Oops. and we're going to give a starting point of 7 and we're going to give it an ending point of this is 7 right here because we counted before 8, 9, 10 so we're going to give it an ending point of 10 and why did I pick 10? well when I pick 10 it's going to stop here, but it's technically stopping here, all right? So I want to give it one more position so it would say yes. If I put 9 here, which I'll show you in a second, it will come back false. This will come back true. Oh, false. Uh, maybe I had that wrong, so let's go to 9. May I count it wrong? No. Oh, ha, there we go. I realized what I did wrong. Um, world? A war? or however you pronounce that, it's case sensitive. So W and W are not the same. So it's saying no, it doesn't start with that. So let's push up on our upper hour again. I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna change that to a capital. I'm gonna change this back to 10 and hit return and we get true. There we go, there's our mistake. The lowercase and uppercase are not the same. So it's gonna kick back false. All right, and then when we change it to an uppercase, and this is uppercase, it is now gonna re return true. All right, now 
before I made my little mistake there, we talked about where the ending point should be. Well, our ending point's on L, but in theory, it's actually ending on R. So, what happens if I put 9? Are we going to get true or false? So, let's push up on the up arrow one more time. Come here and put 9, hit return, and we get false because, in theory, it's only seeing W O. W O. It's not seeing the R, so it's saying we do not match. W O R does not match W O. Alright. So that is the starts with string method in Python. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.